Running has always been a pretty big part of my life. I first started running when I was about six or seven years old. I had asthma and my mom with her Asian remedies was like, you need to start running. And so I started running about half a mile like every other day with my mom. And I started to develop this love for running because it feels like you get into this meditative state and you build this rhythm and it just feels like you're moving forward in life. Fast forward to high school, um, I wrestled in high school and running is a huge component of wrestling because you have to make weight and when you're in a combat sport, endurance is so important. You could be the best wrestler technically, but if you don't have the endurance to carry out the move or last the match, there's a high chance you will lose when you meet someone with high pressure. And then after high school, I joined the Marine Corps and that's when I really got immersed in running. That's when I really started doing long distances. We would do ruck marches for 10 miles, 15 miles, 20 miles at a time. We were running three to four miles every other day. And that's when I realized how important cardiovascular and running is to being an overall athlete. When I started powerlifting, I kind of lost a sense of that because I was so focused on chasing strength. And since the workouts are three to four hours long anyways, you're just so exhausted that you stop running. And there's powerlifting specific types of cardio like sled pushes, sled drags. So I didn't really have time to run. It wasn't until recently when I started training kickboxing, which started off just for fun and for our movie making process with JK, that I really got into kickboxing. As I got better and better, my coach pointed out that if I don't increase my cardio, I'm just not gonna be able to pick up the techniques that I need to get to the next level. Cause some of the things we're learning is not just one combination anymore. You're stringing two, three combinations together and coming right back and being able to drill that over and over. I just didn't have the cardio for it. So what just started off as me running to just get better at kickboxing, I started to run a mile and I added half a mile every single week. Now I'm at five miles every week. Now I really fell back in love with running again. and. I think having a balance of strength, having a balance of a sport that I really love and also running makes me feel like a complete athlete. And I think that's what I'm really about. Having been 230 pounds and just really focused on strength and having been 175 and really focused on just my conditioning and circuit training and CrossFit, I think my ideal athletic weight and capability is low 180s where I can keep 90% of my strength but also have my cardio be at a higher point and that's my goal right now. One of my favorite things about running is that it's a huge mental game. It doesn't take that much energy to put one foot in front of the other but for some reason once you hit that wall it feels like each leg weighs a thousand pounds but knowing that you're just lifting your foot, you know that you have to overcome that mental barrier and that everything is in here. And what I love about running is that you're constantly pushing that mental barrier every time you run. And there's a huge crossover into daily life because in life, it's very rare that you're gonna have that complete fight or flight moment, you know, where you're like, ah, oh, 100% intense. Most of life is, oh man, I got 50 emails or I gotta complete this edit, or I have that other meeting I have to do, or I gotta stay up an extra two or three hours. So they're actually light obstacles, but being able to push through those mental barriers where you're, you're running, it helps you able to tackle those light obstacles in the same way. So because I've been able to run, I've been able to manage stress that much better. And like everyone, I experience anxiety too. You know, like I wake up Monday mornings and I look at what I have to do during the week and sometimes it's, I'm overwhelmed. I'm managing so many different companies. I have so many things that I have to do. And when you look at that, when you look at it and you're like, oh, I gotta run 10 miles, it can be daunting. But when you put your head down and you just focus on your breathing and you just put one foot in front of the other, all of a sudden you're able to run the 10 miles that you set out to do. And that's kind of how I treat my work week. So. I'll look at what I have to do, and right before it gets too overwhelming, I put my head down and I go, okay, start knocking them out one by one. And because of the running, it helps me be able to control my breathing, control my anxiety, and help me push through any mental barrier that I'm making up in my own head.
Thank you guys for watching and supporting every athletic endeavor that I do. If you guys are interested in seeing what my sprint day looks like, let me know in the comments below and I'll bring you guys out to when I do my sprints. But thank you guys for supporting the brand and the content all the time. Barbellbrigade.com. Link in the description below. Go check all that out. See you guys next time. Peace.